In the spring of 2019, I lit a candle for an Arisha, the Arisha Oshun. I had been studying, um, I had been studying Exodus 3 um, in school, uh, preparing for my thesis um, about the Moses Call narrative and cultural memory. And one of the things I got out of my um, historical sketch of that text was that um, in Babylonian exile, uh, the Jerusalemites, um, because of the way they were taken out of their homes by the Babylonians um, and didn't have any kind of cultural products to take with them that informed their identity, um, they had to tell stories. One of these stories um, was the story of Moses. And part of that story was them uh, being assertive about their understanding of the divine. So their understanding of the divine wasn't just, um, there was more to it. There was a cultural, they had, they had, they would, it was part of them holding on to their cultural identity. So when I got when I got to that interpretation, when I came to that conclusion of one of the reasons why they wrote um, the book of Exodus, um, I started to think about uh, my spiritual tradition because um, I had been Christian all my life, and uh, if you know anything about um, Christianity and Black people. Um, you rarely hear or you rarely understand um, these instances where they people understand Jesus being black or even uh, a heavenly father being black. Um, you can go to a, a black church, 100% of the membership is black but they got those fans that depict a white Jesus. So I was, you know, I, I ascribe to the idea of Jesus being black and I ascribe to the idea of um, a Christian God being black because I had did a lot of studying of uh, James Cone when I was in seminary. Um, but this particular time that I read Exodus 3 made me think well I should give veneration of the gods of my ancestors because this is what the text was talking about this is because uh, one of the passages said that um, he un uh, God called himself to Moses the God of his ancestors so I was saying, well, who, who, who's the God of my ancestors? And I know that many black people in the diaspora in the United States um, predominantly came from West Africa. So I was pretty sure that my ancestors gave veneration to the Orisha. So... Um, still with a very strong uh, Christian, Christian ideology and worldview, I said, um, well, my theology was that God is love, so I'm going to give veneration to Oshun. It wasn't until months later that I realized that, oh yes, Oshun is the Orisha of love, but it's not that kind of love. Um, but at any rate, I did, um, I lit a candle for her, I read about her and, you know, learned a few things about her, so I, uh, got an orange, 
cut it in half. I drizzled it with honey because um, I heard that she likes that. I drew pictures of her. I drew these cute little pictures of her sit, uh, sitting on a, a stone in the middle of a river. Um, and I said um, there was enough space uh, where my window was that I could put a little plate out there um, where I put that offering as well as uh, my artwork of her and a candle. I didn't even dress the candle because I didn't know anything about dressing candles. Um, but I did that and I did that for I'd say a good a good week until I you know and then after that I could start feeling her presence after that and then shortly after that um, other Orisha um, started to show up for me um, Oya she showed up uh, Ishu, Ogun, and Shango showed up. Um, and then after that, um, other divine energy started showing up. But this was after I started um, meditating. I meditated as a Christian, but I was more intentional about um, healing my energy um, and that was how I started my journey more explicitly I started you know I I think um, I started hearing spirit move me away from Christianity to other I you know I understandings of um, the divine and spirituality in like the, the spring of 16 but it took me I guess about three years um, after doing a lot of studying that made me conclude uh, that I was ready to start doing some kind of practice outside of the Christian tradition and I am happy that I did uh, one of the strongest one of the most uh, effective practices uh, that you'll hear me talking about often is meditation. Um, meditation has so many benefits. Um, but if I was to tell you how I launched into this new journey uh, of uh, spiritual freedom, it would have been then when I lit that candle for Oshun.